Yo guys, what's up? Red J Head here, and today I am going to talk to you guys about the new HBO hit box office series, number one to the stars, Last of Us. Um, so first of all, spoilers. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. I'm going to spoil some stuff. Specifically for Last of Us Season 1, Episode 3. My wife and I watched it last night. Today is January 30th, 2023. It aired yesterday, January 29th, 2023. And it was so good. My wife was bawling her eyes out the entire time. Because, guys, I shit you not, it is probably one of the best love stories I have seen in an episode Ever. Like, it was encapsulated in one episode uh, from start to finish, and it was amazing. Now, there are a few spoilers that I'm going to just spit out here really quickly. Number one, I appreciated that episode because my wife is afraid of the infected, and they're little to no infected in that particular episode so it's not scary but oh my god it'll tug at your heartstrings like crazy so what happens is they introduce these two people bill and frank which i can't remember if bill and frank were in the game it's been so long since i've played last of us that i remember some crazy guy named bill but I don't remember that he had a, a lover named Frank. And so this couple in this episode, they are gay. Um, not that not that there's anything wrong with that. Kappa Seinfeld. No, sorry, I shouldn't say that. I'm just I'm just I'm just saying that like um, it's a, it's a love story between two men. So I know some people might find that a little bit odd still in this day. So uh, I'm putting that out there, but like, it was so nice. Uh, like, it was just, oh my goodness. I, Last of Us just keeps getting better and better and better. So the way these two guys meet, Bill and Frank, it's so wholesome. I'm going to try not to spoil much, but I just want to say, this is basically a PSA that Last of Us has been killing it recently. Because... You get, you you see, um, I, I like the fact that within the relationship, um, and then at the end of the episode, you realize that this guy, Bill, um, was never afraid of anything his entire life. And then when he met his lover, his partner, Frank, um, he, he started to have fear. He was afraid of losing Frank. They were so perfect together. It's literally the best. I'm simping for these two. I hope they make like... They acted so well. I'm, I'm literally simping for these two guys right now. Because um, the thing that I like about Last of Us is even though there's a... In the middle of a zombie apocalypse. the thing There are two things that I like about Last of Us. Number one... It's never the zombies that are, or the infected that are the biggest problem. It's always the humans. Those are the scariest, the humans, and how they react to all of this. Those parts scare me more than the infected, because the infected, you can hear them coming. The humans, you never know what they're going to do. So I love that part. And the second part I love is that they cherish the little things. Like, for instance, in The Last of Us, too when joel had to trade a bunch of stuff to get a, a a cup of coffee and he's like i'm embarrassed to say what i traded for this cup of joe like it's savoring those little things and it's just it's such a good it's such a good show so if, if any of you got it's it's new content it I guaranteed it's new last of us content i feel like i'm selling out here but it's so good because it keeps that fundamental Last of Us feeling where, like, enjoy the little things in life. And their relationship, from the way it starts to the way it ends, is literally perfect. You can calculate your life as best as you can. And you'll never have a relationship like the one that I just witnessed on screen last night. Most people won't. Maybe even I won't with my wife. Like, the way... They died together. Again, another spoiler. I know. I'm sorry, guys. 
but you shouldn't have watched this video um, if you didn't want to get spoiled. The way they died together was so poetic, it was just incredible. So basically, the reason I'm making this video is because... A, I want to say, if you guys are like on the fence about watching Last of Us because you think you already know everything, give it a shot. Even if you just want to skip to Season 1, Episode 3, it's so good. And there is barely any Joel and Ellie in it. It's about this couple and how they meet during this pandemic, uh, during this like zombie apocalypse, whatever you want to call it, and the way... And the way they help each other and the way they find friends in a world where like it's hard to find friends because everybody's kind of it almost feels like everybody's out for themselves. So anyways, guys, let me know what you thought um, about uh, season one, episode three, if you've seen it. Um, I'm curious to hear about your thoughts and um, what would you rate it? If you want to leave me in the comments, what would you rate? That particular episode, for me, 10 out of 10. It doesn't get any better. I, the, the the note at the end, and this is the first episode where Joel starts to show emotion in the series. They are off to a banger of a start. Banger of a start. So anyways, that's all. Kind of doing like a, a Penguin Z sort of vibe here. Just sharing my thoughts I hope uh, you guys appreciate them. I'm curious to hear other people's thoughts if they want to drop it in the chat. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode or next video that I make. <laughs> All right. Peace.